We good? Yep. Is, it Is this, yep. am I about to be humiliated? Tasmania, that was my first race win, I believe, with Brad Jones Racing. Pretty cool moment. Was able to back it up a few years later and get the first win for DJR Team Penske. There you go, Reddit's mine. So it was an awesome day, you know, for me and Scotty. You know, for me to get the first win um, for the team under its current form of you know, DJR Team Penske with having Roger involved. Um, pretty awesome, but then also to be able to share it with Scotty on the same day. It was the first one two for the team as well. So um, yeah, pretty satisfying day that one. Oh no. So Luke was my teammate, um, you know, for quite a few years. And uh, that was his side business that he had. It was a, a stunt school. And he was trying to teach me to two wheel. You know, we got there in the end. It took, you know, probably a few hours, but he was a good coach. We had a lot of fun. Uh, that was a couple of years back at the Grand Prix. Um, I was teammates with Lewis for a couple of years racing Formula Renault in Europe, so it was good to be able to catch up with him. Obviously, he's so busy these days, and this was a, a pretty quick moment. It wasn't uh, long, long by any means, but uh, you know, good to say good day, and we had a, a, a lot of fun, and you know, we got a few stories to tell along the way. The irony. There's not nowhere I can go and not talk about this. So 2010, 10th of the 10th, 2010. Um, this is where I barrel rolled at Bathurst. From the moment it started to spin to it come to rest was about 11 seconds. Probably the biggest crash supercars has ever seen, the fastest crash supercars has ever seen. And, um, you know, I was just not sure what was gonna happen. If I, if I was gonna get out okay, if I was gonna get hit anything hard, if the car was gonna come to a sudden stop. But, you know, thankfully, um, you know, the car came to rest by itself and, you know, it looked very spectacular, but I got out okay. But the f first thing that went through my mind is, I've just survived this monumental crash. I didn't have to open the door to get out, so I knew it was a big crash. But I didn't want to trip over in the gravel. Then my little guy, Carter, that's um, obviously the Gold Coast race is a two driver race and, and Tony was starting the race um, last year and Tony said, can you bring my hat to the grid? So I was like, yeah, no worries. I was running out of hands. I had my drink bottle in the other one, carrying Carter, and I just put you know, Tony's hat on, on Carter's head backwards and made a pretty cool photo. You know, I think I'm this guy that's hopped out of this car that's crashed big time, and uh, I look pretty stupid if I fall over in the gravel. <laughs> 